Hi there and thanks for joining me today for this Creating Keepsakes video tutorial on how to create a group photo in Photoshop Elements. For this tutorial I'm using Photoshop Elements version 8, but this option is also included in some of the earlier versions of Photoshop Elements, so check your software and see if the Photo Merge option is available to you. First for this technique I'm going to open multiple photos of a group session that was taken. In this case I have two photos open, but you can actually open as many photos as you need to in order to create the effect that we'll create today. To go to the Photo Merge option, we're going to go to the menu bar and go to File, New, Photo Merge Group Shot. Photoshop Elements then asks me if I want to control click on multiple photos. I can choose from two to ten photos in the project bin and choose the photo merge group shot again or I can select open all. In this case I'd like to open all of my photos that are in my project bin so I'll click on open all. It will take just a minute for Photoshop Elements to work behind the scenes and open those photos and as you'll notice down in my project bin the two separate photos are highlighted by two separate colors blue and yellow. If I click on the yellow option it brings up my second photo if I click up the blue option, it brings up my first photo. Now my second photo is actually the better photo of the two, and as you'll note here on the right hand side it says begin to drag a photo from the project bin and drop it here to set the base image. Because the yellow image is my better image, I'm going to click and drag it to the right window. Now all I have to do is click on the other photo that I'll be working with today. The pencil tool is the tool that we'll be using. It will actually help us to select the faces that we are looking to switch for this photo option. In this photo, the boy is looking a little bit more at the camera with more of a smile. And this photo, his eyes are a bit closed, so we're going to be clicking and holding on his face and try and be a bit precise here. It will help if you have a pen tablet, but with a mouse this effect should be just fine. Once I get him selected, watch over here and his face automatically changes in the final window. Now you'll notice I missed a bit of his ear so I'll go back and highlight that. And again that's taken over to the final window and his face has been switched. We're going to do the same thing here for this cute little girl. We will highlight her face. She's looking at the camera in the left photo. She's not looking at the camera in the right photo. So we're going to highlight her face by clicking and holding again. I've got the pencil tool and I'm going to make sure I get all of her face. And once I let go in the left side, her face automatically appears. One thing to help you when you're doing this technique is the head position needs to be very similar. The eyes and all of the information comes across. But if you have someone looking completely sideways and try to switch it, Sometimes it may work, sometimes it may not. That's just an effect you may need to try. If you need to erase any selections that you've made, go ahead and use the eraser tool. But I feel pretty good with my selections, so I'm going to click on Done. Once I do that, Photoshop Elements works behind the scenes and now creates a third document. Down at the bottom, you'll see that here in my project bin. That has all of the changes I've made. A quick, seamless way to make a group shot in Photoshop Elements. This has been a Creating Keepsakes video tutorial on how to create a group photo in Photoshop Elements. If you have any questions or would like to view other video tutorials, be sure to visit us online at creatingkeepsakes.com.